What's good fam? Welcome to another video, but if we haven't met yet, my name is Ted and I talk bass. This channel is all about tips, tricks, and tutorials for what I like to call the blue collar bass player. Real quick tip today. It's for beginner tips, so if you're an advanced person, you've been around the block a few times, you want to skip this video, you don't want to watch this, this is not for you. But if you're a beginner, if you're new to this, or if you need a refresher, this would be... Uh, I don't know, a little helpful bit of information that may save you some money in the long run. Also, this video is brought to you by me. If you'd like to leave a tip, you could do so, cash app, at son of a base, or buy a product, or click one of the affiliate links below. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to quickly uh, wind up your cables and get a little bit uh, more life in your cables as well. So I use the MXR cables. Um, they aren't uh, super cheap, but cables last me a long time, a long, long time. Um, and I'm gonna show you what a, uh, what a sound guy showed me years ago. This is how I always wind up my cables. Um, it works for me. I don't spend a lot of money on cables. So you're gonna grab one end like this, right? Uh, actually like this so let's say I'm actually left-handed but uh, I don't know if you know if you're not never mind uh, so I'm holding a cable like this so this this end is facing that way and with the other hand I'm gonna pull down just a little bit I'm not gonna pull the cable but I'm just gonna go down and then I'm gonna turn with my fingers just a little bit like this, right? So the cable bends. So, and I just put that in my hand, come down, roll it, follow that process, right? And so each and every time you have to come down a little smaller and it's just winding up in my hand, right? Each and every time I'm going to get a neatly wound cable and it's super, super fast. So also, when it's time to roll it out, there it is rolled out, let me do that again. So I'm holding the cable like this, come down. Let me do that one more time. So holding the cable, just gently with my fingers like this. Come down, turn it just a little bit. Just lay it in your hand. Follow that same process. Now, again, if you're watching this video to this point and you're like, ah, I'm wasting my time and I'm, an, I'm the shit and I've been doing this a long time and blah, 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 blah. And I told you in the beginning not to watch this video. This was a beginner video. Um, but this is a thing that, you know, beginners struggle with. So look at that cable. I keep two of these in my mono uh, gig bag. This video isn't sponsored by mono or anything like that. But I keep two of these in my gig bag. And uh, yeah, it's just a really easy, quick way to you know wind up your cables, store your cables. You can hang them on a wall, something like that. They stay nice and neat, and they're not going to get all tangled and bent and frayed. And you know, uh, every time we use these things, every time we wind them up, we're shortening the life of the cable, right? And over time, that starts to cost a lot of money. So. Anyway, that's a quick way to wind up your cable on this Tip Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel and like the com comments, if you like the channel and you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, leave a comment. That's what I was going to say. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Two fingers. Is my head cut off?